what what's this this shit right here nigga this shit right here nigga uh, well, we're gonna get into that later. Uh, right now, this is just the Hexby Gaming logo. Go check it out, hexbygaming.com. But until then, I'll be covering that in a later video. Uh, but guys, just enjoy the video. Peace. What is up, YouTube? It is Franchise here bringing you guys another competitive gaming video. And today, I'm gonna be giving, giving you guys a dual commentary with my boy and teammate Jay Hill. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself, John. Guys, it's the first dual commentary, and we're coming off a third place finish on the UMG 1K. And Chaz, go ahead and give them the details. Yeah, so pretty much what we're going to be talking about is uh, this UMG that we did this past weekend. Uh, we ended up placing third place, which is really good in our opinion. Um, I'm just going to be giving you guys what we just did. Uh, pretty much, we played up to the fifth round. We ended up losing uh, to I2. In the winner's bracket, we got sent down to the loser's bracket because it was a double elimination tournament. Uh, we ended up, you know, pretty much winning our way out of the tournament to the loser's bracket finals, which if we would have won that, we would have been um, obviously going into the grand finals to play for, you know, all the money for the big pot. Uh, but we obviously came up short. Uh, but other than that, I just kind of want to touch on some of the things that through this tournament have kind of uh, opened our eyes. Uh, so pretty much at the conclusion of the tournament, uh, some have said that we are a real good S&D team and we are pretty weak at CTF or vice versa. But the way the tournament was set up, is to have two CTFs and one S&D, then two S&Ds and one S uh, CTF. Uh, so we had to win our CTF mass matches just as much as our S&D. Uh, so people really need to ask themselves, what does it really take to have or to be a top amateur team or just a top player in general? I don't see S&D stars placing high in variant tourneys or variant teams winning GB tourneys, and any game type included variant uh, it's just as important as the others, and I think people forgot about that since MW3 did not include domination. Uh, but, John, do you have anything else to add about no, that? No, I mean, well, first of all, I would like to say that I completely agree. Um, top M team, what does that actually mean? I mean, you know, are you going to be great at CTF and average at S&D or vice versa? Balanced teams make great teams, but more than anything, skill will get beat every time by chemistry. I mean, it's like you said. There's two CTFs, then one S&D, and then you got to turn around and do the opposite. Yeah. So I mean, you got to be a very balanced team. You can't just be good at one and not great at the other. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, and as some of you may know, that we had a lot of roster issues in this past uh, MW3 season. Oh uh, but yes. We are pretty much a team of three since the whole thing uh, since March of this year. But I'm gonna let John take it home on this one. All and right, I guys. might add a little bit. So um. <laughs> Getting into it, uh, first off, there's been a lot of drama and stuff talked about our past roster and our teammates. First of all, I'd like to name off our past teammates. That was Gunner, Bevels, Chino. Now, we recently picked up Enemy, but um, basically, Chino, he quit, and he has decided to come out of retirement after the UMG 1K, but he did not actually decide to do that until Enemy decided to go his own way. Uh, we announced that we needed one, and he said he wanted to play again, and we clearly gave him that opportunity. I mean, he deserves it. He's been a great teammate and a great guy, and we've had a lot of fun, and we've even won money playing with him. So it, we would be foolish not to. Uh, we had a few players that we were considering to pick up, but the chemistry and scheduling issues with Chris, Hattie, and I's schedule was just too much to deal with. Other people were, you know, we played with fill-ins. They weren't actually teammates, but I still appreciate the interest in our team. Uh, that does not go without you know being noticed, but our roster as it stands is Gucci, which is our main objective player. Chai's he's more of an objective cutoff guy. He'll do whatever it really takes to win. I run Slayer, and then Chino is a Slayer and just an S and D tank. Um, and Enemy, he was on a roster, but guys, I mean, he decided to go his own way, and that was his decision. Um, and there's been some talk about Stun Slap. He's mentioned on Twitter uh, us being his old team and on our roster, and he played attorney with us a week or two, blah, blah, scrims. Guys, he in no way was – we're not his old team. He was really a temporary Band-Aid more than anything. <laughs> yeah, but uh, guys, as you know, we've had a lot to do, uh, a lot of preparation, getting ready for these tournaments. Um, however, we have never been the team that had the opportunity to get the best scrims. Part of that is because people associate being known with skill, and we are pretty much randoms when it comes to that aspect. Uh, you can you can be skilled and known, which obviously a lot of those pro teams are what that is. Uh, but there are a lot of underrated and or unnoticed teams that do not get good practice because they're not considered known. Sadly, there are a lot of players that have done nothing other than flirting with fucking guys at LAN events to get where they are today. <laughs> <laughs> not trying to knock anybody, but... 
these guys have egos. People get it from from no reason at all. But these people have egos, and I feel like it destroys our community. And we have never been getting an opportunity. Everything we have done, we have really earned. And it pisses me off when people want to write our success as flukes or luck. The $1,500 we have won as a team is proof of that. Uh, but, John, do you have anything else uh, nah, to add before wanna, we wrap this up? Just want to thank uh, everybody for the support. And huge shout-outs to all my teammates, 